Welcome back to my Opus Magnum, I'm Dear Darling, and why don't we work together to realise that Magnum Opus. And last time, we made all these sort of things, um, to try and pull off some sort of heist, I guess? So, here's the results of it, I suppose. Looks like it's time for me to go. Good luck, Nails. You know I succeeded when a barge of lead ore floats down the river towards you. I'll send instructions de detailing when to send my share of gold later. You won't be returning here? No, I'm afraid I can't stay. So you do trust us, finally. A funny thing about that. When I first found the two of you hiding out in this abandoned shop, my first thought was to cut you both down as you slept and sell your personal effects. Well, that's not really nice. Oh my, I'm glad you didn't. I'm just kidding. I would have collected only a pittance for your mediocre clothes anyway. How touching. I expect a, expect a more touching story couldn't be written. Safe travels, Nils. We'll be here for a time being should you want to find us. I'm sure we'll run into each other again before long. Well, fingers crossed it went well. Decoded message. That sounds... Alright, an uncommon ally. Hey, I just noticed these backgrounds have been changing. I haven't really been paying attention to them. So is this a Van Tassen house? Or maybe this one is? Or are these just different locations? Where we are now? I don't know. They're quite capable, dare say, the best of a type I've seen, in fact. Trustworthiness. They'll likely stick to a deal built around shared aims, but they're not the types to develop blind loyalty. Oh, Nils, don't double cross us. Why not meet them yourself? They hold up an abandoned shop along the river. What's this underlined? What's what's going on here? Clara Soria. Hello. You're sure you won't get in trouble? Hang out in the bad part of town with a rogue alchemist? My parents don't know. I spent a lot of time in the observatory and they always assume I'm there. You look very pretty. Not as if they would check for themselves. It's a shame you never got to use Van Tassen's observatory when you visited. I was tasked with fixing it right afterwards. That's okay. I still had a nice time. Even though you were with Frederick? Oh, yes, wait, hold on, I vaguely remember you. You were like in the prologue or something, right? <laughs> Excuse me? I loved Frederick. You, you what? He was kind to me. Maybe the only one who's ever been... Oh, you were Frederick's wife, the incompetent person's wife, right? Until he died. Sorry. It was really nice spending time with him. It's true, that kindness is a rare trait in a house heir. I wish I could have protected him. He didn't deserve a world he was born into. None of us do. Sigma's garden. I should probably do this off screen at some point. Lafarge separation. So this is a red, raw lead ore. You should have seen what when we had cases and cases of gin around here. Why? To oscillate? I, I oscillate? <laughs> I say individual elements from the alcohol? Y yes, exactly. How resourceful of you. That's a sharp deduction, Clara. I've always been interested in alchemy. But my mother says it's too dangerous for me to pursue. She thinks I'd explode the place. Alchemy is dangerous, but not in the way your mother thinks. Sure, what are we making? What the heck is that? <laughs> oh my god, okay, this is more difficult because this is just a load of buttons, isn't it? Hmm. What's the best way to go about this? My hunch is the best way to go about this is to make this, this spiderweb thing first. And then put the salts in afterwards. The fact we start with salt is actually very nice. Um, so we don't have a lot of room to work with. <gasps> it's backwards. <laughs> other, other way around. Other way around. Okay, so we 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 are unbonding everything. Wow, this seems um rather difficult. Let's maximise the space between. Okay, this seems pretty hard. <laughs> oh, actually, this is really difficult. Or is it? If we start with unbinding with salt, Okay, no, I, I think the plan is we take out each piece of salt, put them away, and then unbind whatever these things are called. I don't know what this is called. What is this called? Has it got, has it got a name? Lead. Oh, it's just lead. Okay, fair enough. Hmm. Okay, so pick us up, rotate thrice. So then we undone this bond. And then we pivot it. 
So it's this way. Rotate back. And we have an unbound lead, which will drop like that, right? Nope. What? Oh, we need to pivot again. <laughs> this one's going to be a lot of trial and error. What? I did it wrong. Because <laughs> this is going to be incredibly hard to imagine. Okay, so this is basically the aim. We want to get rid of assault. Okay, so we drop it there. Rotate twice. Pick it up here. And we've got it like this right so we need to um pivot twice i think rotate round okay perfect then we drop it rotate pick up pivot twice rotate round and we should have another unbound salt I think. Nice, nice, okay. And then we do it again. From here, right? Da -da. Pivot, pivot. That. Drop. That. Pick up. Pivot, pivot. Rotate, rotate. Drop. Actually, this one seems very, do very doable. At first it seemed impossible, but now... I've taken a closer look at the bonds, it seems much more feasible. So now we're, we're just left with this. I think we want to put it like in this position, right? The hard part is I don't want to... Mm. No, we can we can put it in this position, it's fine, right? Because, we, yeah, yeah, okay, 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 okay. So, da 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 da, pick it up. Ah, crud, I forgot what, is it this way? No, it must be like this, right? So I think we... Pivot it. So it's like this. Pivot it away. Drop it. And then... Then which part do we want to do next? I think we want to do this one. Weirdly enough. No, we don't. I'm wrong. <laughs> we want to do... So we have it like this. We want to do this one. Drop it. Rotate. Pick up. Rotate. Drop. And then we just got one here, right? Which can be done by rotate, rotate. Pick up. One, two, three, four. Four pivots. Drop. Rotate. Pick up. Rotate, drop, rotate, rotate, pick up, rotate, rotate, reset. I think this should work. It's a pretty small area as well, actually. <clears throat> ah. I missed the pivot. There's a double pivot there. I think it should work. Nice! Hey, look at that. Again, I did a classic mistake of mixing up the products and reagents again. It's every time we start with something big, I'm always like, oh, that's obviously what we need to make, but no, in this case, we're, we're breaking it down for, for whatever reason. I forgot what they said, this is lead ore we're breaking down, right? And so it's components of lead and salt, whatever salt is meant to represent, and out of chemical terms. This is 36 products. I wonder if you can do it unevenly. I don't know how you do it unevenly. Or why you do it unevenly, but... Hmm. <clears throat> it, it did seem that it wasn't counting some of the later leads, because since there's one more lead than salt, then that's how the count salt goes. Extracting the essence of lead from ore. There's, some, that's, there's something no alchemist has had to do for centuries. 
Solving these ancient problems for yourself must be fascinating, though. Maybe. In a way, you're reinventing the field on your own. That's one way to look at it. For my part, I keep thinking I've travelled back in time. What fun, though. Retracing, retracing the origins of alchemy. Why are you ret retracing if some other people have already done them? Stain them with a sword, alloy, invisible ink. Mm -mm. That's a big question mark. We have purified gold. I don't suppose you have something that will get out of stain. What happened? I just slept a little on my way. I don't want to give my parents any opportunity to be suspicious. We can get that cleaned up like new, I'm sure. A stain remover? <laughs> now we're back to old Vat and Tassin times. To think I was getting so full of myself. Is this something we've done before? Glyph of purification. Transmute two atoms of the same. To single atom of the next height form. Another group of protection does not require quicksilver. Oh, okay. Nice. What the heck is this? And seeing as we don't have quicksilver, we, we kind of have to use this, don't we? Uh, we need all these reagents. And we need a salt. Hmm. This is a mess. <laughs> this is also a triangle, which is a bit difficult to... Um, we have to have a triangle thing here, don't we? Oh, we need a binder. Oh. I'm not looking forward to this one. Just to be frank with you. I think we're going to need a lot of room because this is a very big compound we're building here. Oh gosh. Does it make sense? So the only reason we need this is to hop back and forth like this. Maybe it would be better to do it this way around. And then we could put like the water in. Oh, maybe not like that. Um, I suppose we could, we could rotate it first. I think these two are going to collide into each other, though, aren't they? Yeah, that's probably, that's probably true. Um, okay, we'll figure it out as we get to it. Is that only one step up? That's only one step up, okay. So we can just sort of leave that there for a bit. This is going to be a real pain, huh? This is going to be a right pain. <laughs> How are we going to do salt? I suppose we could do salt like this. How are we going to get the air in without, um... That's a good question. I don't know how we're going to get the air in. Can we, can we do it from here and rotate safely across? Not really. That won't collide. So we could we, we could actually put air here and rotate across rotate across we'll just use water for salt. Okay, um This is very strange. <laughs> I suppose we'll just start out with um making what we need first. So we got we got the thing there, right? Nice. <laughs> I said with a very bald tone. Wasn't my intention. Uh, so we drop it, move back, pick it up, and we want to make this X shape first. I don't even know where we're going to put the compound. Here, maybe? Yeah, that seems reasonable. Um, gosh. Uh, 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 um, 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 we picked that up. Rotate. Move. Drop. So we should probably make think of it as making a line. Oh, wait, hold on. We should do it this way around. Should we? Maybe we shouldn't. Wait, we're, we're here. Here. Okay. 
move around anti-clockwise again, rotate, grab, rotate back up here, move clockwise, and we got it there, no, move, wait, move anti-clockwise, we got it there, drop, move anti-clockwise again, pick it up, pivot, 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 uh, maybe you don't want to do it like that. That's right, we'll, we'll make it... We want to pivot that way. And we put an air right. How do we do it without colliding? I'm pretty sure that's going to collide. But we can do it from here. Oh, I see. That was my plan. Okay, um, I can't remember where we are, to be honest. <laughs> what? Oh. That's a problem. Um, I didn't expect this to be the hardest part. How are we going to get any of the atoms in? Um, hmm. I didn't think that would collide. I guess that does kind of collide, doesn't it? Ooh. <laughs> Are we just kind of doomed? How are we going to put this water molecule in? Can't move that way, that's not gonna do anything. We can't move this way. Ah, I think we doomed ourselves. We're gonna have to come at this from a different angle then. Oh, it's gonna be so difficult. I suppose we could put it like this. And then this way. Not much. It's helpful. Maybe we put the salt thing over here, so then we can move out, rotate, move back like that, and that's how we could put water in. Uh, the, the problem is, we're gonna have such a tight space to work with, aren't we? If we're binding it like that, um, like how are we gonna put the air in from here? Like imagine we pivot it, such as waters. The water's now here. How do we pivot air in? We have to go here. We have to grab it from here. And then what? This won't softify it. This might collide it, but might not. I guess we just have to hope that doesn't collide, and then it'll be okay. Um, this obviously needs to change a little bit. So from here, instead of dropping it, we... This will now go positive. Um, I'm not convinced. I'm, I'm pretty sure we're going to run into a collision problem later. Okay, let's delete it from here. From, so from here, we rotate. Pick it up. Move outwards. Rotate, clockwise again, drop. This seems like it's going to be ripe for um, collision problems. What? <laughs> okay, no, just reach the edge. Okay, okay, okay. So drop, it's dropped. We go clockwise. Pick it up, and we pivot it once that way, drop it, clockwise again, swing the arm round, pick it up, and this is where we just hope it doesn't collide with anything. I'm not convinced that doesn't collide though, 
The spatial management of this game is very finicky, isn't it? Oh, it doesn't collide. Okay, well, can't let me surprised. And then we move backwards. Drop it. Move backwards again. Pick it up. So now we got it like this. We pivot twice. Drop it. Go down. Go out. Come back. Move back. Drop. Move back again. Pick up. Pivot once. And then we almost got the X shape. <laughs> Drop. Go clockwise. Swing around thrice. Pick up. Swing around thrice again. Drop. Well, I don't know if we need to drop at the end, but I think we should make the X shape that we're looking for. Hopefully the correct X shape. What? Oh, this should be a, a plus. I'll probably do that again later, don't I? Yeah. I think I might do it again here. Let's see. This is probably the same problem. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have changed it. Because <laughs> it might be right. What? Oh, I never even picked it up. It was the same problem. But <laughs> oh my god. This game hurts my brain so much. So much finagling to get these um, specific shapes in specific places and not let anything collide. It's good fun though. Can't spend too long doing it though. Um, we forgot to move round. So yes, we do actually have the X shape. So we we got air here. I think. So we got it like this. We, we need to pivot such that such that what? It's horizontal? Yeah, just, just once. Then we'll go around, drop it. Now we need to start making salt. And what's the easiest way to do that? I don't know. We just salt thing from here. Maybe we can put it more. In, uh, no, let's just leave it where it is for now. I think it might be easier using a water one, right? So release it, swing down. So we're pointing at the water. Pick it up, move out. Twice. Swing around. Swing back. Move back. Swing round. Move back. Drop. I think that puts us on the right position. Which is one down, but I, I'm getting increasingly worried we're not going to be able to put the other salts in without colliding into something. We're doing some ridiculous trickery. <gasps> what? Okay, well, I mean, that's fixable. We, we can just um move first, then pivot. Yeah, so switch these two round, okay. We are going to definitely run into some space issues. Because if there was a salt here, it would have collided, wouldn't it? Which isn't a problem now. It means we had to put this air one in first, right? 
this, wait, to put this water on in, where do we even need it? We need it here. Right. Okay, so yeah, we, we need to put the other air on in first. Okay. Okay, so swap these two round. Oh my god. Um... And we need to be very careful we're not accidentally binding anything. I, I actually just can't picture it right now. <laughs> my, my brain is broken. This is getting... Yeah, okay, so we need to make sure we do that two air ones first. So from here, how are we going to do the other air one? We can pivot this, or we can grab it by the air and pivot. That seems a bit dangerous. If we grab this and pivoted it three times, it'd be here. Hopefully it wouldn't actually hit anything. No, that's not useful. Okay, I think we, we drop it, we move clockwise, grab it by the air here. Because theoretically we got like a, let's think about it, it's in this position right now. We just sort of need to flip it around, right? But that flips it around. Hopefully it doesn't bind anything if we... Move down again. Put that there, put that there. I don't know. Let's just see what this looks like. It's so hard to picture. This is such a weird shape. I just don't want it to hit anything is the biggest problem I've got. Okay, I mean that gets pretty close, but it doesn't- oh wait, did it just make a binding? Yeah, just buy a bound two things. Okay, so we can't do it like this. <laughs> so we picked it up, like this. Maybe we made like a scale model over here of what we got going on, you know? So we picked it up. So what have we got right now? We have got... Get out of the way. This. We're picking it up from here. What we want to do is make sure nothing binds, but we also want it to basically be flipped around like this. So the easiest way, I think, would be to move it down this way. Oh no, that's going to bind it back this way. Oh my god, this is so difficult because it's going to bind a lot of the time. Rotate it like this, maybe? Is that going to hit that? It's not going to hit that, but that's pretty close. Grab it by the salt that we just made. Move it up. That's going to hit. Oh, we should be rotating this way because there's nothing over here. Yeah, you're right. You, you're right. So if we pivot it this way... Then again, that's okay so far. And then again, that's not really okay. Oh no, it is okay because we haven't made anything yet. So if we pivot it that way, we got the we got it basically like like this. <laughs> How do we move it along? Because we can't move that because that will bind it. Oh my god. So maybe we don't pivot, we pivot it twice. <laughs> so one, two. So it's like here. No, it's here. And 
and then move downwards. Yeah, okay, pivot twice, then move downwards. Then release. Go back up. Grab it. Pivot it. So now it's like this. Which is almost correct. Oh, we can't move it down again. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, we can't do that. Um... Instead of pivoting it, I think we just move downwards, maybe? What have we done? We released it, move back, move back up, grabbed it, move downwards again, so now it's like this, release it, move back up, grab it, and pivot it, so now it's like this. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I think we'll attach a salt on and we'll call it a day here because this is this is absurd. So then we're here. And then from here we we can imagine what we need to do to um get the salt. Grab it come out. Rotate again. Go anti clock no, not anti clockwise, clockwise. Rotate back. Go anti-clockwise. Rotate around. Go clockwise. I think that's good. <laughs> I hope that's good. <laughs> it's just damn things colliding, you know? No, that's... Uh, we need to pivot it more. How much more? Do we need to pivot it more? No, that's right, isn't it? No, that is right, okay. <laughs> there we go. And then we need to figure out how we're going to attach the water. But I think I'll save that for next time because this video is going to go on too long. So if you haven't been watching, thank you very much. This has been Obis Magnum. I've been Dear Darling. As usual, like, comment, and subscription is all greatly appreciated. Join the Dear Darling Discord down in the description below. Follow me on Twitter. Hope we can see each other again. But for now, it's all farewell. So until next time, bye-bye for now. I'm not looking forward to doing this. <laughs>